What's going on guys, Freebs FPV here. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to update the Walk Snail VTX and the goggles. I'll show you all the things you need and then step by step on how to get everything set up. So let's just dive right into it. So as you know, Walk Snail has been coming out with firmware updates every so often. So it's nice to see that they're still improving things with it. Um, still a lot of ways to go, I would say, like especially with the um, broadcasting and other things. Um, but I'm actually on the 28 dot whatever firmware right now. And I actually need to upgrade everything to the latest one, which I believe is like a 29 firmware. So I believe that's the latest release. I'll have the links down in description. That way you can find those. There's also a discord you can join for walk snail. That's where they post all of their updates for firmware. And it is a lot easier to find rather than going through Facebook or wherever they were posting their stuff and trying to dig through it. So discord is going to help you a lot. Join that channel and you'll be able to stay up to date with everything. Also, bugs and stuff. You get to see all the works. It's kind of like how um, on GitHub with Betaflight, you can check all of your uh, logs and stuff, different coding and everything. So that's where the Discord channel is right now with it. So definitely give it a look. Now, the things you're going to need are the USB cable, which I don't have ready right now. I put it somewhere. Here it is. So the USB cable, it's going to have the little JST connector there and USB. That's what you're going to connect to the drone and then to your computer. And then also you're going to need, what else do you need? Ah, oh, fuck. The next thing you're going to need are firmware files and you'll be able to find that through the Discord channel or on Facebook, I believe. I don't know if they're still posting them on there, but you can definitely find it on Discord for sure. And one last thing, just to make sure nothing overheats or gets damaged, you want to make sure you have a fan next to your drone. That way, when you're updating and it takes a sec, um, you're going to need to have a fan go so it stays cool, doesn't overheat and brick it or do anything to damage the VTX. So I'm going to hop on the computer and show you exactly where you need to go in order to download this stuff. So here we are on here. We are going to hop on to Discord. Now, if you don't have Discord, you can download it. It's easy to sign up, make an account. If you don't have a Discord, go ahead and make an account. Easy to do. It's free. Don't have to pay for anything. And just find the link invite for the Walk Snail group and you're good to go. So I just got to wait for Discord to pop up. Oh, it's right here. All right, so this is my Discord. There's nothing really important on here that I have to hide. You guys, all we're going to do is hop over to the left side where all of the different channels are. There is the walk snail one. So you're going to pop in here, and then where you're going to go is to announcements. And in announcements is where they're going to have most of their firmware stuff. So as you can see right here, there is a beta firmware 31.36.8. That one is out right now for you to test. And the nice thing is, is before they were holding back on beta testing, but figured since everyone really wants to try it out, you know, it's better to get a general opinion of everything rather than just testing pilots. Um, I feel this is a better way for them as a community also to grow together. So good job on that. Um, but right now, I believe the 29.3312, even though it says it's beta on here, I believe that is released. So what we can do is actually, I don't think this is the right one. Let me see. So that is announcements. Let me just give it real quick. Actually, I made a mistake. The announcements area is, uh, I guess, not the place where it's supposed to be. So we're going to ignore that. Um, where you're going to go actually is down in help and resources and firmware download center. This is where you're going to find everything. So you, even the earlier ones, the 20.224, which I don't even remember that one. That was a pre-release firmware. Okay, so there's that, and then there's all the way up to our latest one, which is the stable 29.33.16. So what we're going to do is tap on this. It's going to open up something right here, and this is where you're going to be able to find the download links. So if you have the VTX and goggles, you're going to go look for these two links, the sky and ground link. So we're going to go ahead, download that. It's going to pop me in here. Don't mind this. Just some random homework that I forgot to exit out of. We'll keep it on the good. No, no, we'll keep it on YouTube. There you go. All right. So we're going to go back, back to Discord, find the ground link. Also, it's going to pop in here and then it should download automatically. So you're going to have those two files. And with those two files, we'll minimize that and minimize that. Those two files are going to pop up in your downloads, and you'll see them right here. I accidentally downloaded an extra one, so don't mind that. I'll just delete. 
So what I do to make sure that I don't lose these files is to create a folder. So what you want to do to make this easier for you is to create a new uh, folder window, which you can do with control N or command N, whatever you're using for computers. Then you can go over here. I have a file specifically for all my drone stuff. So luckily it's easy to find and the walk snail file. I have a firmware folder. And then these are the two firmwares that I've had here. So now what we're going to do is create a new folder. We're going to call this one 29.33.16. That way we know that's the latest one. And we just double click in there. It's empty. So we'll grab the two here, drag and drop. Now they're all set there. And now you're good to go on that. And then we can actually get started on updating your drone. Now that you have the files downloaded, now we can go ahead and grab our quad and we're going to connect it to the computer. Also, forgot about this. You need a battery so to make sure your drone turns on and powers a VTX. So make sure you have a good battery that's not going to die out on you or anything. I usually try to keep like ones that have been somewhat used but not overused. So anything that's like a 3.85 at storage charge, I would use for sure. So um, anything of that or above so I'm just gonna use my speedy pizza drone pizza battery lipo battery yeah hey <laughs> so you plug in your USB cable and then you're gonna get it here and plug it into your drone so I always like to plug it in beforehand um, maybe the other way is better I'm not sure but we're gonna keep it like that and then next we're gonna plug in our battery that way it connects do the good old beep bop boops then you should see that your drone is connected to your computer so what you're going to need next is to go and I believe since it's just this I can take these out so yeah if you have any files or anything uh, make sure you copy and save them over that way they are um, backed up and you don't have to worry about anything but these are all just random clips so I'm just gonna get rid of them Next, we're going to grab our sky image file. And this is where we're going to drag into our VTX uh, SD card or file folder, whatever it is. So that will go in. It'll copy and paste. And as simple as that, you are done for the drone. All you have to do now is eject it. And make sure you always eject because sometimes not ejecting and just disconnecting can corrupt the files and which will destroy the VTX or corrupt it. So now that you see that, what we can do is unplug. Now it's back to its green blinking light, which is its standby mode. The next step you're going to do is hold down the bind button for about eight seconds, I believe. Let me move my hand, it's not right. I believe it's eight seconds or until you see the light shut off. So you'll see pretty soon it should be turning off and then you'll let go red light should flash on which indicates that it is updating there we go flashing light is good and once you get that solid red it is finishing up the update and it should return back to the green flashing standby okay. and there we go green flashing light and we're all set all we got to do now is disconnect the battery and cool. So now you have your drone updated. The new firmware is on there, but in order for this to work fully, you need to get the goggles updated. So we're going to get our goggles next, which I have the fat shark dominators. Usually, I mean, everyone I think has like the, the avatar walk snail ones. I went with these ones just cause it was different than the black style. I have DJI goggles that are black. Um, I wanted to switch it up. I like the white and the gray scheme. Plus I got a little mustache on it. <laughs> so the next thing you're going to need to do is get the SD card out of your goggles, which is kind of tricky. Sometimes I always have a hard time getting it out. I always have to like poke it and then kind of eject it in a way. So it pops out more. So I can slide it out, but it's a little tricky getting it out. Okay. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, friend. You can do it. Oh! 
All right. Sometimes it likes to pop out. <laughs> like, I don't realize, like, one time, I think the very first time. No, I'm going to shut up. I'm going to shut up. We're going to get to the update. <laughs> so, SD card, you're going to take that. Uh, if it'll focus, it's really hard because it's so tiny. But SD card, you're going to grab that. Make sure you have, like, a SD card reader or something. That way you can plug it in. I have, like, a simple little Anchor USB one that you can get off of Amazon. It's, like, I think, like, four bucks. So we'll just slip it in and then I'm going to just connect up to it. Hopefully I can just plug it in. If not, actually, I'm going to have to reach over somewhere because everything's all plugged in right now. Now we're going to go back to the computer. And as you can see, this is my goggles file. And you can see that the ground image file is there for the earlier firmware. I have some clips that are also there too. I really don't need them. What I'm going to do is grab this and all of that. We're going to take that away. I'm keeping these three files just because these are the custom fonts that I made for my goggles. So it's like a different color and all that. So keep those ones. Don't need to mess with that, but delete everything else. Now that all that's gone, we're going to go here. And we're going to grab the 293316 ground image file, drag and drop. And now we got them in here. You're all set. All you got to do is eject again. And then now you'll get your SD card, slip it back into your goggles like so. Um, whoops, hold on. I got to use the handy dandies. So yeah, make sure you have it sticked in there. It's if you don't know the location, it's right above where the eyes are, right in the center. Now that you have that, what you want to do is power on your goggles, which I'll get to right now. Switch cameras. Now we can zoom out. Oh, wait, they're right there. That's so good. Open the good tip. So now we're going to take our goggles and I'm going to power them on, plug them in. The one thing I like about these goggles too, and I think like, I think the HD zero goggles have a, have it also is that it's got a power switch, which is really nice to have. Cause I hate just having to plug it in and have it turn on automatically. I just nice to have a switch. So you're going to power on your goggles, wait for them to start up. You'll wait till it hits the standby mode. It's in standby mode now. So what we're going to do is go to the bind button, which is right here above the, the joystick. And we're going to hold it down. And the best way to check if it's ready to go is to look at the goggle screens. Um, once it turns off fully, no like images or word, text or anything, it's going into binding mode. So I'm just going to take a quick look. I believe it is in binding mode. Yep. So if you hear that beep, I'll put it right here. That beep indicates that it is updating. This update should take about, I'd want to say eight to 10 minutes. So please be aware of that. It's going to take a second. You don't want to unplug or anything. If it seems like it's going forever, it's working. Don't worry. Once it is all updated, it'll shut off and we'll get on to the next step.
So the goggles have finally stopped beeping, and that means that they're ready to do the last step, which is to reset the goggles. Walksnail has a thing where if you don't reset the goggles after an update, for some reason it acts really wonky, so they always suggest to reset after each firmware update, so I can't really show you, so I'm just going to put a step-by-step -step thing here, that way you can see where to go and then how to reset everything so i'm gonna do that i'll still explain it and everything so i'll put the goggles on and you'll see me explain it you'll see the stuff pop up so yeah what you're gonna do is go into your menu go to your settings go to device and then you're gonna find the reset all option reset all and you're gonna say okay when it does that it's gonna reset and once you get back to your standby mode, you are good to go. There is one more thing I forgot to mention, and that is to make sure that your quad binds to your goggles. So I'm going to do that real quick just to make sure everything's A-OK. -okay. Now that we have the quad connected and powered on and we see that the standby light is going, we can go ahead. We're going to hit the bind button, which I'll just go this way. Now. We're going to hit the bind button. It should turn red. That means we're in bind mode, and then we're going to take our goggles, same thing before, just the little red dot there. Tap it, it's going to beep. Should only beep a couple times and it should connect. If it keeps beeping and it isn't connecting, and you don't have this solid green light, you might need to reflash and do everything all over again. There might have been a, something that hiccuped in it. But if you have a green light and you check your goggles and you see video, you're A-OK. -okay. And that's everything you need to know on how to update your walk snail system. I really hope this helped you out. Um, anybody that really needed this. I had someone uh, comment and suggest that I make a video to help them update their system. And of course, I am totally okay with making videos um, based off suggestions. Please, guys, send me some suggestions. I don't mind it. It'd be a good way for me to make more content, too. So tell me what you think. I hope this helped you. You can do whatever you want with the like and subscribe stuff. I really don't care. I just want to get videos out to you guys. And more freestyle stuff coming soon, too. Um, I've just been really slacking because of, like, personal issues that happen. So I'll get back to you guys soon. I hope y'all have a great week. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.